great friends this Saturday at the Res. Still not going to work with me on that, are you? What do you want me to say when you say res? I want you to that not will confirm your creativity. Here's what I don't that want will you to make say. you feel better. Here's what I don't want okay. you to say. I didn't say that. Yeah, you did. You... <laughs> and you rolled your eyes. Linda, what do you think? Yeah, he gave you the look. He doesn't yeah, care yeah, for it at all. He gave me the sign. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. There, all right. I'm sensing creative differences. <laughs> All right, this Saturday, 3 o'clock, tip-off, San Diego State, Nevada, a must-win for San Diego State. You cannot lose a game against a team that is 12-13 and 13 on your home floor. We know this. X Thames knows this, and he's ready to join the Scott and BR Show on the Mighty 1090. Xavier, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you guys doing? Doing really good. Yourself? Good, good. Trying to stay healthy. All right. Now, uh, the report is... You have practiced more in the last two days mm-hmm. than you've practiced in about the last two months. Yep, that is absolutely true. I've been practicing the whole time the last two days, so that's a that's a big step for me. I'm just, just happy that's happening. Fair to say you're 100%. Uh, not 100, but 85, 90, right in that range. All right, we'll take 85 and 85 90. is good? Yeah, we'll 85. yeah, 85 is good. 85 <laughs> is good. Better than 50 or 40. Right. Exactly. <laughs> well, how long ago were you 50 or 40? Man, that uh, you know me game. The first time we played, you know me, I was about forty, fifty percent. I just had to go out there and play because it's you know me, and it's a big rival. So I had, to, I can't, I can't sit that one out. All right, but that's going back to the first game. That's that's mid January. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, okay, sir. so it's been a long time since you've been this healthy at eighty five percent. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Yep. All right. What was the diagnosis with your back? Uh, I had a uh, slightly bulging disc in my back. So that was the uh, word that the doctors had gave me. But ever since uh, that first MLB game, it just uh, kept on getting better and better. Tom has been working with me real well, one of the best trainers out there in the country. So I just want to thank him. So each each day is getting a lot better, so I'm just thankful. And when you have a bulging disc in your back, what is the what is the the basically the accepted treatment for that? I mean, do they hang you upside down? Do they Do they <laughs> massage you? What do they do to you? Uh, a lot of uh, deep tissue massage, uh, a lot of ice, and a lot of stretching your hamstrings and your um, lower back, basically. Mm-hmm. Just all this uh, treatment stuff that Tom had me doing just been working. So, like I said, I just want to thank him. So there's a lot of people listening right now. They're going, oh, dude, believe me, I've been there. Mm-hmm. What was the pain like? I mean, did you have, like, sciatic nerve issues, or was it just, like, where you're all jammed up and you can't move? Yeah, it was now no thankful thankfully it was no pain going down my leg, no anything like that with the beard. So it was just all in my back. My back was just real tight, barely bend down and get stuff and yeah, that was basically it was just real tight in my lower back. All right, you gotcha. gave him the whole range though. You said were you all jammed up or did you have sciatic nerve? Pain going right. up your back. So, right. So I wanted to use proper technical <laughs> medical terminology. All jammed up. Of course. All you jammed up. All jammed up. My doctor told me I was all jammed up. Right. You know, and that's what the doctor told me. So that's <laughs> that's what I'm reporting to you guys, what I'm doing. Uh, X Thames is with us from the Aztec basketball team. All right. So here's the thing. We talked to Coach Fisher on Monday, mm-hmm. and he said that he had just told the team, guys, we're a boat. We got holes. We're taking on water. We got to plug the holes. You remember that conversation? Yes, sir. I just certainly do. <laughs> okay. Now, your coming back to the team helps plug a hole. Yes. Uh, yeah, I could say that. You know, I could say that a little bit. I don't want to sound too cocky, but I think I helped the team uh, on defense and offense some in some ways. But yeah, I think I think I helped the team some. <laughs> yeah, you're plugging a hole, Jack. Right. Okay, yeah, yeah. you're a hole plugger, dude. Right. right. Now, <laughs> what you do? Now, here's the good news, because because the the boat's taking on water, like James Rahan's shoulder being sprained. Yeah. But then, exactly. give us a give give us some feedback on. I mean, you transferred here from Washington State. Mm-hmm. Dwayne Polee transferred here from St. John's. Yeah. We talked to him the other day, and either he's the greatest liar in the world, or he's the most humble guy I've ever spoken to. Which one is it? DC is the most humble guy you'll probably ever meet. Mm-hmm. He has a, uh, one of the greatest attitudes I've ever seen. From him. He's not playing a lot of minutes. He's always smiling, having the team, having the team goofing around, things like that. You never see DP complaining, talking about minutes or anything like that. So we were all happy for him uh, last week when he had a when I, uh, had a great game. So yeah, he he was not lying to you. He's one of the uh, most humble humblest guys you'll ever meet, and he's a. He's a great guy. I really like DC. 
Yeah. Um, the thing is, is that if Rayhan's hurt, and you tell us, has he gotten back into practice? We talked to Coach Fisher about it. He said he, he's going to have a hard time getting back. But, but you know, Rayhan says he's coming back quickly. Has he been practicing? Uh, he's been, uh, just doing, like, little light shooting, things like that, on the treadmill, so he won't lose his weight and things like that. But he hasn't really, like, had a full or, like, uh, 50% practice. He's been he's doing a, lot, a little light shooting. But I talked to him today. He said, uh, things are getting a lot better, so that's that's good news for everybody to hear. All right, but the thing is, is that Poli, this is what I'm getting. This is what I'm getting at. Mm-hmm. I mean, Poli is a different type of athlete. Yeah. And and Poli, conceivably, could come on for this team at the right time of the year. I mean, the, the team could be getting healthy and adding a, a really unique athlete right. at the the most critical time of the year. Do you see it going down yeah. that way? Yeah, yeah, that's great. That's great for us. You know, DP had a great game. And this is going to give us more depth with along with Winston and Skyler and those guys like that. So we just got to get healthy before the tournament time, and I think things will be all right. And and you're probably one of those guys that feels like he's got to get his game going too, yet you had 26 minutes and zero points against Wyoming. Uh, you feel like you've got to get back in the action a little bit. Well, I'll, I'll take zero points and move in my 30 every game. Right. You know? <laughs> as long as we're winning, <laughs> I, I really I really do not care. But, yeah, i got to get things going, but I'm not going to try to force the action or anything. As long as we're winning and team's happy and I'm happy, everybody's happy, and I, I, I'm good. He rooms with Poli, by right, the way. Right, is that your I deal? You, you and Poli, <laughs> you guys room together or something? No, no, no <laughs> actually, I'm Jamal's roommate. Uh, okay. Poli lives right, down, right downstairs from me. <laughs> so, all right, look. It's getting to that point now, though, where I'm guessing the urgency is starting to really kind of creep its way into the locker room, right? I mean, two losses on the road in the conference, and you come home, and everybody's kind of starting to feel like, mm. hey, we got to start putting some wins together here because if we don't win the Mountain West Conference Tournament, the selection committee is going to be looking at us. Are you guys feeling that now? Uh, yeah, you know, Coach, Coach uh, tells us, you know, we got to win the uh, home games because, you know, we have a tough lead and it's hard to win on the road, so... We're just taking each game, one game at a time, not looking ahead. We're just trying to get the next game, not worried about uh, the next game going ahead. All right. X Thames, uh, big game tomorrow. I mean, look, I know Nevada's 12 and 13, and chances yeah. are people underestimate these guys, and winning in the conference is almost impossible all of a sudden. But yeah. but you, you got this is a must win game. That's all, all there is to it. Yeah, it is. It is a must win game. It's a home game. You know, if you lose this game, uh, Lord knows what the uh, selection committee will say about this. But we just got to go out there uh, and take business, take take care of business, and I'm sure uh, the coaches will have us prepared like they have all year. So we'll be all right. All right, very good. X, great talking to you. Glad to hear your back is yeah. feeling so much better. And uh, we we'll look forward to seeing the game tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah. All right. Like like Jim Harbaugh. Very appreciate nice. that. Appreciate that. Right on. Yes, sir. Uh, X, Thames. Good to hear. All right. That is good news.